Did I get the chest on top of that pillar? I don't recall. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, this is where it gets a little dangerous. I'm saving now because the trip across the Hyrule Field is going to be perilous. And since I have three hearts, I'm going to need to make sure I keep true to my challenge and make sure I don't lose more than that if I can heal it beforehand. And of course the Yiga are not going to make it easy for me. Would you please stop? I'm trying to have a nice uh, trip here through Hyrule Field, please. That actually helps me, thank you. It helps me move faster to my destination. Ooh. And a uh, Octorok. That I don't want to be on the receiving end of. So we're going to kind of aim towards Hyrule Castle and then branch off to the right just a wee bit. But we're going to come across some guardians, and uh, I hope to goodness that uh, we can... Oh, that's a horse. I was like, what the heck is that? That's multiple horses. Okay, I don't remember which route I need to take. I want to say let's stick to the woods here. So let's, let's stay in this woods. Don't go across the paths now. The roads are dangerous, especially now that the Yiga are about. Is there anything in here? What? I hear it. But I don't see it. Okay. Oh, off we go. There's the road, which we don't want to get on. So let's stick to the woods still. Or at least to the tree line. Coming into some guardian territory again. There's Radanya. Working his way. such a vast, empty openness to the Hyrule Field. It's like an eerie sort of quiet. You know? And there's Mount Heber all the way over there. Oh, there's the entrance to uh, Lalan Ranch. We were there a long time ago, weren't we? But that's not our goal today. Nope, nope. Oh, great bats. Hey, Lord of the Mountains on there. Where is he? There he is. Oh, 
Ugh, Frost Spear is mostly damaged. Fantastic. I cannot wait to get uh, to get some extra new weapons in the Hyrule Castle. I will be searching for them. I have a couple places in mind. Ooh, there's a guardian. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. Oh, jeez. Too much stuff happening right now. And I'm dead. I am dead. Where are we at? Oof. Okay. Reloading. Reloading, reloading. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Where does where this put us back at? I should probably manually save more often, actually. Where are we at? Oh god, over here. Okay, we are a little further back than I was expecting. Our goal is literally right there. Like, seriously right there. We went through those trees. I know we did. So let's go on top of here. Because I see something that looks like a Korok. Hmm, this is a multi-rock Korok one. So as soon as I saw that Guardian, I probably should have saved. Anytime I see a Guardian, I should probably manually save. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, you had fairies. You probably could have revived yourself with a fairy. Yes, I probably could have. And probably I technically shouldn't have counted that as a death. You're right. Um, however, the trick, though, is how much would the fairy have um, restored my health? And on top of that... Um, I would have used up one of my uh, inventory of apples or food or something like that to recover from that. And so there's just too many variables there, you know, being put into play. I might as well just forget that I have fairies at li as long as I have 13 hearts on me and just count it as a death. So that was <sighs> upsetting. I knew it was going to happen at least once between Hatino Village and Lost Woods. It's almost guaranteed. Okay. Like, I, I really want to cut straight through, but I know that's going to put me in range of a lot of Guardians. So, okay. So we cross... Okay, so the Guardian was across the way there, past the... past the trail. Okay, and that tower off in the... Okay, with the pink... There's the Deku. There's the Deku tree, the pink tree, and then the tower to the right. That's the tower I want. That is my destination over there. So I'm kind of going over and around to get to it. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Just be careful of this <laughs> guardian there. Now, was the Guardian that I fought over here, or was it further along? I don't remember. But here's an easy Korok. This I do know. And this, by doing this, I think I will have actually done a quick save. So every Korok you find gets you an extra save. So if you look in the lower left, after I get this Korok, the game saves, so that is my that is my next auto save. So every time you find something like that, oh, it sucks that I don't have as much stamina as I used to. Okay, it was right here. Yes, yes, I remember now. The guardian was up here, 
And that was down here. Okay. So this is where we were before. And then these guys showed up. Yep. Ugh. The Guardian was up there. I think if I stay down low, I should be fine. Nothing? Really? Did I already catch this one? Okay, time to cut across. Keeping an eye on anything that looks remotely like a guardian. Okay, yeah, we can do, we can go through here. Yes, of course. Okay, the bats went away. Good, good. Don't trust that thing. <laughs> Could be a decayed guardian for all I know. So we're going to pass through these grove of trees. And a lot of them are apple trees to boot, actually. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a Hinox somewhere around here. Maybe it's that, oh. Oh, you just appeared out of nowhere. Is doing wonky things. Okay. Oh dear. Oh no 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 no! Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Wait till I get to the ground. Okay, now you can see me. Oof. <gasps> no. Wait. No. <sighs> Blast it. Blast it all. <sighs> My rules are strict. They're very, very strict. I chose to cross the river because I figured that would be the easier way to cross. Oh, now it's raining. Thank you. Oh, and it was clearly the wrong way to go. It was, it was definitely the wrong, wrong way to go. Oh, ridiculous. Trying to avoid as many guardians as I can. Oh, speaking of guardians, uh, let me regale you <laughs> with... Uh, uh, my story, actually. Uh, yeah. Guardians. Master mode. I thought I could handle them. I thought shield bashing them would be an easier and uh, quick way of getting rid of them. I was so wrong. I was completely and totally wrong. Uh, yes, shield bashing can work. However, the problem with shield bashing guardians in master mode is that they delay or increase the speed of their shots. So sometimes the shots can come out as normal like they normally do, or the shots can come out like super fast right before the sound cue that I normally listen to. Oh great, and there's a star fragment right there. Uh, uh, RNG hates me. Um, or they can delay it. Now the delay is very, very visible. The delay is, as soon as you hear the audio cue and try and swing your shield, 
he'll visibly delay his shot, and it is very hard to time when he's going to fire. So shield bashing is no longer a viable solution to quickly and easily get rid of stalker guardians. So you kind of have to wail away at them with your weapons, and that means a lot of broken weapons. And, whoa. and with a mechanic of uh, bro you know weapon durability, the enemies have double the health, um, you don't have access to many good weapons to begin with, and the fact that enemies regenerate their health if you don't attack them for so long, it ends up being very, very difficult and a dicey affair, period, to even go up against a stalker. They become terrifying to face. They become absolutely... <sighs> what's the word? Annoying and impossible. <laughs> I can't believe I just, oh, I was about to say, I can't believe it just went through without attracting the attention of a single guardian at this point. Okay, we're going to save, because I don't want to keep losing progress. Oh, where is that landed? Where did that land? It's just on this side of the... Hmm. Okay, this is where I dropped off and promptly died to the stupid electric geese. Okay, looks like I, uh, fighting in a uh, guardian might be a little inevitable here. Mm. Really? 